स्टूडेंट्स यस्टरडे वी डिस्कस अबाउट दी असेक्शुअल मेथड्स ऑफ रिप्रोडक्शन इन द एंड टूडे वी विल स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द आर्टिफिशियल वेजिटेटिव रिप्रोडक्शन प्लांट्स कैन ऑल्सो बी प्रोपैगेटेड बाय सम आर्टिफिशियल मेथड्स सच अ मेथड्स आर यूज बाय द फार्मर्स एंड गार्डनर्स टू ग्रो अ वराइटी ऑफ प्लांट्स so some methods of artificial propagation are discussed let us start with a cutting in cutting method a piece of shoot root or a leaf can be used to grow a plant in plants such as a rose sugar cane ex and that have a nodes and inter nodes their stems are obliquely cut and planted in a soil these a stem then grow into a new plant then next method of artificial vegetative reproduction is a grafting in this method the two parts of the plant are joined together to grow are joined to grow together this part can be of some type of plant or the different type of plant in grafting the two part of plant are joined together to grow together the plants that has a well developed and the sturdy root and the sturdy root system is used as a stock the other part of the plant which is grafted on the stock is known as the sison is the shoot of the plant the two part of the plant are placed in such a way that their vascular tissues join together to successfully grow as a single plant the two part are such a placed their vascular tissue uni- units together to successfully grow as a single plant then third method is the layering in this method the branch of plant is bent down to touch the ground this branch is then covered with the soil after some time the root start growing from the cover part which is then separated from the original plant this method is used to reproduce the plants such as a jasmine and croton then we will study some advantages of the vegetative propagation of the plants in the production of plant by the methods of vegetative propagation has the following advantages the new plant produced by the vegetative propagation take much less time to grow and bear the flowerless and fruit and bear the flowers and fruits as compared to the plants grown from the seeds then next advantage is is uh, the new plant produced by the vegetative propagation are exactly like the parent plant because they are produced from the single parent so all the desirable features of the parent plant will be replicated in the new plant on other hand the plant produced from the seeds made by the sexual reproduction have the features of the both the parent plants are male and female the next point is a tissue culture many plant cell have the ability to divide and differentiate into the entire new plant this property of plant cell is used in growing the new plants under the germ free conditions is known as a tissue culture technique this method relates on the fact that many plant cell have the ability to regenerate the into a whole plant if the right amount of nutrients and plant hormones are provided to them then let us start with the asexual reproduction in plants the production of new plants from the existing plant by the fusion of their gametes it's called a sexual reproduction i repeat the definition the production of new plant from existing plant by the fusion of gametes or the sex cells is called sexual reproduction in sexual reproduction new plant are obtained from existing plant through seeds the basic difference between the sexual and asexual reproduction is 
इन सेक्शुअल रिप्रोडक्शन न्यू प्लांट आर प्रोड्यूस्ड विदाउट सीड एंड इन सेक्शुअल रिप्रोडक्शन न्यू प्लांट आर प्रोड्यूस्ड फ्रॉम सीड्स द प्लांट दैट हैव अ फ्लावर्स आर कॉल्ड फ्लावरिंग प्लांट मोस्ट ऑफ द फ्लावरिंग प्लांट प्रोड्यूस्ड बाय द सेक्शुअल रिप्रोडक्शन मेथड इन्वॉल्विंग द फ्यूजन ऑफ द गैमेट्स द दिस मीन दैट the two sex means male and female are involved in the reproduction of the flowering plant flowers are the reproductive parts of the plant the reproductive organs of the plant are in its flowers the function of flower is to make the male and female gametes and to ensure that the fertilization will take place to make a seeds for growing a new plants so let us start with the structure of flower the main parts of the flower are sepals petals stamen and pistil the main parts of the flower are shown in figure first is the receptacles the base of the flower to which all the parts of flower are attached it's called receptacle then second part is the sepals the green leaf like part of the outermost circle of flower is called sepals third is the petals the colorful part of the flower is called petals the petal lie inside the sepals the petals are usually scented the functions of petal is to attract the insect for pollination and protect the reproductive organs of the flower next one is the stamen the stamen is the male reproductive organ of the plant the stamen is made up of two parts a filaments and anther the stalk of the stamen is called filament and the swell on top of the stamen is called anther anther make the pollen grains and store them pollen grains contain the male gametes of the plant the next part is a pistil the pistil is the female reproductive organ of a plant pistil is made up of three parts stigma style and ovary the top part of the pistil is stigma then middle part of the pistil is a style then style is a tube which connect the stigma to the ovary the swollen part of the bottom of pistil is called ovary the ovary make the ovules and store them the ovules contain the female gametes of the plant the flowers which contain only one reproductive organ either male or female it's called unisexual flower this mean that unisexual flower contain either male organ stamen or female organ pistil and the flowers which contain both reproductive organ male as well as female means both is called bisexual flower means bisexual flower contain both male organ stamen and female organ pistil a new seed of the plant is formed when the male gamete present in the pollen grains unites with the male gamete present in the ovule